A new report from the nonprofit Oregon Justice Resource Center alleges that Coffee Creek Correctional Facility in Wilsonville has problems of abuse and poor living conditions. Well, Fox 12's Connor McCarthy went to the prison and talked to both sides about the report. He's here in the studio now to tell us what the Department of Corrections is saying about it, as well as the Oregon Justice Resource Center. Connor? Well, guys, this was an exclusive tour of the state's only women's prison. Now, the Oregon Justice Resource Center, the publisher of Volume 2 of Death by a Thousand Cuts, alleges abuse, retaliation against those in custody, and poor living conditions. During our 90-minute tour, we did not observe deteriorating living conditions or a toxic environment, but both acknowledge there's room for improvement. It's Oregon's only women's prison, and an exclusive tour by the prison's leadership is giving the community a closer look at the inside operations. We're going to go to where the sign says treatment unit. Yeah. There are two 52-bed units. Fox 12 is the only television station in Oregon to see Coffee Creek Correctional Facilities' minimum and medium security buildings, which have been active since 2002. They spend their time in either a minimum security dorm room or these cells in the medium security facility. During the day, they're working in the kitchens, training service dogs, learning trade skills, or even working off-site. We have work crews for state parks. We have work crews that are going out for the Oregon Department of Transportation and, um, um, and providing additional support to the work that we do in the community. Alexandra Lucasen has been an adult in custody at Coffee Creek for more than eight years and teaches at the cosmetology school. She says the trade programs, like cosmetology, have improved her experience while in prison. Of course, being in prison, I mean, it's not like great to be away from your family or to have to be in a cell, but I mean, without coming to prison, I would have never changed my life as much as I have, so. Hallways and living areas we observed were clean, maintained, and orderly. Cleaning supplies were readily available for adults in custody. The adults in custody maintain uh, mm -hmm. the institution with sanitation. But three reports over the last eight months have been critical of the prison, claiming there's been widespread dysfunction leading to poor living conditions and mistreatment of the adults in custody. Two of those reports were authored by the Oregon Justice Resource Center called Death by a Thousand Cuts. Alice Lindell is the director of communications for the nonprofit. In the kind of six months or so since the Gipper report came out, um, unfortunately, in many ways, we haven't seen the changes at the scale that we need to see them. The Gender Informed Practices Assessment, or the Gipper report, published last summer, was initiated by the state and conducted by a third party. It found retaliation for reporting wrongdoing, such as sexual misconduct, inadequate mental health services for those on suicide watch, and worsening living conditions since COVID. 19. The Oregon Justice Resource Center's latest report says the problems brought to light last summer are still happening. This culture of um, sexual abuse and sexual harassment, that is not being addressed. And we know this is a persistent problem, and yet we're not seeing leadership taking charge of the situation and doing something to prevent this. Coffee Creek's leadership says that's not the case. Well, we take allegations of misconduct by anyone, staff or adults in custody, seriously. And we're going to, if we have allegations like that, we're going to conduct a complete and thorough investigation and hold people accountable. Mike Reese, the director of the Department of Corrections, says the adults in custody are more than comfortable reporting any retaliation or abuse to management. The vast majority of our staff are doing phenomenal work and challenging in a challenging environment. They want us to hold the folks, if we find somebody that's engaged in misconduct, our good staff want us to hold that person responsible. But Lundell says the power dynamic between lower level staff members like correction officers and those incarcerated creates a barrier. When women make complaints, whether those complaints are taken seriously and investigated properly and dealt with or not, you know, it's, it's a complex issue. You have this lack of accountability and you have the fear um, that women have of retaliation. But we're also making sure people understand the policies regarding respectful workplace. So we're reiterating that with messages to staff. We're also encouraging them um, to work with the adults in custody on this problem solving together. Both Reese and Brown say they're taking all reports and criticism of Coffee Creek seriously. Brown says they have a bid out to repair aging roofs and will host monthly town halls. At the end of the day, both sides want change and both sides want to improve conditions at the state's only women's prison. So we want to lean into the criticisms. We're not perfect. We don't intend to be. 
Our teams are working hard in order to be responsive. And do you want them back in the community, healthy, happy, rehabilitated, ready to take on their life outside prison and be a success and stay away from crime? Or do you want them to come, come out more broken than they went in, with more problems and more stressed and more traumatized and coming back into the community unprepared and, and finding their way back to the same behaviors that got them into prison the first time, doing more harm and creating more victims. I think the choice is pretty simple. Now, Brown says that this May, they will submit a report to Governor Kotek about what changes they've made since August. If you'd like to read the two reports from the Oregon Justice Resource Center and the one from the Gender Informed Practices Assessment, you can go to our website, kptv.com. Live in the studio, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.